Bienvenido! Today we are showing you the most epic day trips to take from Ecuador's capital city of Quito. Trust us, this country is amazing. Ecuador's capital city of Quito is situated right in the mountain region of the country. The city is a perfect base to explore the diverse scenery that Ecuador has to offer. Our first trip outside the city was to the Cotopaxi volcano, which is only 50 kilometers south of Quito. Cotopaxi literally translates to smooth neck of the moon in Quechua, and at almost 6,000 meters tall, it's the world's highest continually active volcano. This was our first view of the Andes Mountains, and it was absolutely stunning. And as you can tell, we got a travel high. If you take the trip to Cotopaxi, be prepared for strong, cold winds. But it was hypnotic to watch the winds whip over the lake. Our next stop was one of the most beautiful natural wonders we've ever seen, the Kilatoa Crater Lake. This crater was formed by an eruption about 600 years ago that caused the volcano to collapse. Over time, the crater accumulated water in a striking greenish-blue color due to the dissolved minerals within. This crater lake is over 800 feet deep. We admired it from the lookout point, but if you have more time, you can make the five-hour hike to the bottom and even grab a kayak. Make time to try the famous Ecuadorian cheesy soup known as locro de papas. Oh, it's good. We don't have a lot of llamas in Florida, so seeing our first llama up close was a big deal. Michelle could not resist the urge to pet it, but when I told her that llamas are known to spit, she had second thoughts. Llamas aren't the smartest looking creatures, but this one probably still thought we were idiots. Not far away was the Tochi River Canyon. This canyon is a great hiking spot and the views from the top are spectacular. Geologists estimate that the canyon was formed from a volcanic eruption around 1800 years ago. Word of advice, walk with caution because this is true nature with no guardrails. With a depth of up to 100 meters, falling off will be the last thing you ever do. After exploring south of Quito, it was time for us to explore north of the city. We highly recommend booking a private driver to explore all the places that you want to see. Ciudad Mitad del Mundo, or City in the Middle of the World, is positioned directly on the equator. This is a great tourist site with a tall, four-sided monument, one side for each cardinal direction. And they even drew the lines so we could straddle the Earth. So we are now at the top of the equator monument, where we were just looking. We're on top of the world. There's an elevator that takes you to the top of the monument. From here, you can see the mountains spanning the horizon. It's also a great view of the equatorial line. We were so impressed by the monument and the surrounding city. This is a tourist destination that actually lives up to the hype. Take your time going through the monument's exhibits. There are many different science experiments that play off being on the actual equator. I decided to harness electricity. Nailed it! Strange things happen at the equator, like dinosaurs. As you drive further northeast, the scenery starts to change and become much more green and lush.
Our next stop was the charming village of San Pablo del Lago. We had never heard of San Pablo Lake prior to this visit, but now we will never forget it. With a view of the lake and the Imbabura volcano, this place was epic. This is amazing. We found a couple rickety swings over the water and couldn't resist. Considering how cold the water was, it probably wasn't our smartest decision. But what were we supposed to do? Not do it? Nah. The water was so choppy that it created a surfing experience on the dock. Caleb was unable to resist this temptation. Did we just invent dock surfing? We found sturdier swings at a resort down the road. Did I mention we are children? As we drove toward the local waterfall and trails of Cascada de Peguches, the road got pretty bumpy. These sacred falls are considered to be an indigenous ceremonial site. There are some interesting legends about this area, including one about the devil who lets the water slowly wash away sand from a plate. If you enter the water at the exact moment that the sand is emptied, then the devil will take your soul. We did not enter the water. Thanks for joining us on our day trips from Quito, Ecuador. If you liked the video, please hit that like and subscribe button for more worldly adventures on the Caleb Goes West.